we're now going to discuss an option called effort-driven scheduling. You may have noticed this option in the task form view here as a checkbox. Now to begin, what does this option do? It allows you to tell project whether or not a task's completion time is affected by the addition or removal of resources. Let's dig into that further. When you have a task that can be completed faster by adding more resources, or conversely, completed later by removing resources, then the task is called effort-driven. In other words, the addition or removal of resource efforts affect how quickly the task can be completed. For example, uh, let's assume we have a task called priming room walls that will take four eight-hour working days for two full-time resources to complete. That means that each resource will dedicate 32 hours of work for a total amount of 64 hours of work or effort that the task requires. Now, take a moment to consider the type of work that is involved with this task. Will the addition or subtraction of resources affect how quickly this task will get completed? Well, in this case, yes. If I add another resource to help with the priming, then the task will get completed faster. That 64 hours of work that the task requires will then get split across three people instead of two, thereby the duration should get shortened. On the other hand, if I remove a resource, leaving only one resource to do the work, then the task will take longer to complete. That 64 hours of work the task requires has to be handled now by one resource, and this effectively causes the task duration to lengthen. So this is an example of a task that is effort driven. The addition or removal of resources will affect the span of time it takes to complete the task. So more resource effort means a shorter completion time. Less resource effort means a longer completion time. That's what it means when a task is effort driven.